But right now, let's talk about something that is getting a lot of chatter right now. A comet visible in the northern hemisphere this month. We actually talked about this yesterday, but we wanted to dig in deeper here and clear up some of the hype of will we actually be able to see this? Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees explains. C2022 E3 ZTF. Wow, what a name. This recently discovered comet makes its closest approach to the sun today and closest approach to Earth in early February. There's been a lot of hype online about spotting it, likely because the comet has a period of around 50,000 years. NASA says this means the last humans to see the comet were early Homo sapiens alive during the last ice age. Although they didn't have binoculars or telescopes, so who knows if they would have even noticed it. Davidad Farnokia, a navigation engineer for NASA, says you'll most likely need some kind of equipment yourself. For the naked eye visibility, it's actually going to be a little past the limit unless you're really in a rural area with no light pollution. He says sometimes comets can be unpredictable. Matthew Whitehouse, the planetary manager at the South Carolina State Museum, says the comet will heat up and change as it gets closer to the sun. As comets get closer to the sun, they actually transform from basically these dark, dirty ice balls to these glowing things with tails. And so if you're making the trek away from the city with your gear, look toward the northwestern sky early in the morning. Weather permitting and with the right accessories, you may get lucky. And regardless, both experts say it's a great opportunity to talk about and get folks excited about astronomy. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.